Any idea how much we spend on dietary supplements every year? How about $30 billion? Everything from collagen, turmeric, vitamin D, glucosamine, chondroitin, but does any of it really have any science behind it? Well, you're about to find out. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to the Front Row with Ed and Elizabeth. So I am 51 and I like to play basketball, but it's getting harder and harder, I'll be honest, because I'm starting to have some knee osteoarthritis and I thought, well, okay, I'm big into foam rolling, strengthening, stretching. I'll, I'll put some links up here in case you're not doing any of that stuff yet. But I thought from a supplement standpoint, is there something that I could be doing as well? But just like you, I hate to throw, throw away my money. I'm not gonna do it. So what I did was I kind of looked into the science a little bit to see is there anything that has any solid or at least mediocre research behind it that might be proven effective for osteoarthritis. So there are six supplements we're going to talk about that actually do have some science behind them. So let's get right into it. Before we get into the first supplement, I want to give a big shout out to examine.com. Um, check them out. They're a great resource for any nutritional or additional supplement information. So the first one everyone's heard about is glucosamine and chondroitin. And the research here basically says that either works for you or doesn't. There's not a lot of in-between. There has been some studies that show that it can be helpful. Um, glucosamine and chondroitin are both kind of subcomponents of cartilage and it helps to reduce inflammation and promote new cartilage growth. And they recommend a dosage is 1.2 grams of glucosamine and 1.5 grams of chondroitin per day. Make sure you watch this video till the end because I talk about the proper sequencing and order in which you should be starting to take these supplements. You don't want to take all five or six of the supplements together at once. You want to ease into it a little bit. So I'll talk about a, a schedule or a sequence at the end of this video. The next one on the list is collagen peptides and Collagen is derived from the skins and skin and bones of other connective tissues of animals, um, primarily pigs and cows, and it's boiled down and then through a chemical process it's made into a powder. So the collagen peptides are supposed to help reduce joint pain, swelling, and stiffness from osteoarthritis, and the dosage is about 10 grams per day. The next one is very fun to say, pycnogenol and it is actually plant derivative from pine bark and it can improve blood flow, reduce inflammation and once again has also been shown to be somewhat effective in reducing some of the complaints of osteoarthritis pain and stiffness. Pycnogenol. You should get it just so that you could practice saying it. Next up is curcumin which is a component of turmeric and it works as an anti-inflammatory so it helps to reduce pain, reduce inflammation, as well as reduce stiffness and increase mobility. The dosage of curcumin is 500 milligrams two times per day. And the last one to make our list is Boswellia extract. And it's from a plant actually native to India and Punjab. And it's been used in Ayurvedic medicine forever. And it helps to alleviate joint pain from arthritis. And the dosage on that is 100 to about 250 milligrams per day. One of the challenges in researching supplements and their effectiveness is that rarely are combinations of supplements tested together. They're usually tested individually so they can determine the effects. So when we're taking supplements it makes sense to not take them all at once to see if they truly are effective for us. So for the first month daily uh, I would take chondroitin and glucosamine. Uh, those two seem to be synergistic and work together. Then I would take the pycnogenol, and then I would try the collagen peptides. And I have the dosage written there, and I would try that for a month, and then see how you feel and take an honest assessment. After the first month, you can then add either the boswella or the curcumin. Uh, add them individually so we can determine whether or not they are effective. And I would try it for a minimum of two weeks, and then you can either continue on if you feel like it's, if it's helping you, or if it's not, you can discontinue 
and then try the other one. And by the end of that, so by the end of two months or so, you should hopefully have a combination of supplements that is giving you some relief of your osteoarthritic pain. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And also make sure that you talk to your physician as well too, because any supplement possibly has an interaction with something that you're already taking. In the description below, I will list all the supplements again and the dosage, so in case you didn't get it in the video. And if you have any questions, leave it down below. I'll try to answer them the best I can. And good luck.